Hey guys, today's video is gonna be about all of my favorite laundry products and also my laundry routine. So I did a video a while ago about how I get all of our laundry done in a day. And yes, I still do all of our laundry in one day, technically two days because I do all of our sheets, like our bed sheets on a different day. So I do all the bed sheets on one day and then all of our clothes and towels and stuff on another day. So it is, I always say one day, but because the bulk of it is on one day, but it is technically two days. Um, and then I also did a video called um, how I get laundry done in one day for a family of five or something like that. And I've gotten so many questions in the comments of those videos. So I thought I'd come on today, explain some things, go through my routine with you again, and then show and share with you some of my favorite laundry products that help me get it done all in one day. So one of the first questions I get is, do you not iron? <laughs> And my answer is no, I don't iron. So if you guys don't know, Chris, my husband works from home, so he doesn't have to wear any like nice clothes or anything. And if he does, it's on a rare occasion when he goes out of town for work, if he's going to a meeting or if he does have to go into work at some point, but that's usually around like once or twice a month. And then I'm a stay at home mom, so I make sure I don't buy clothes that need to be ironed. Obviously, there will be times where I need to bring out the iron if I'm wearing a dress to a wedding or going to a brunch somewhere and the outfit I do pick out is a little bit wrinkly. But my tip for that is, because my husband does have some button down nice shirts that he has to wear to work, we buy the specific shirts that say no iron or I'm not sure what it's called, non-iron maybe, I don't know. But it's it's the material of the shirt is made so you do not have to iron it. And basically as long as you get your stuff out of the dryer as soon as it's done and hang it up right away, it will not wrinkle. Now if you leave it in the dryer for a long time and let it sit there, it will be a little bit wrinkly. And yes, you can still iron those shirts. But what I do is, I know I'm getting all of my laundry done on Sundays. We do go to church in the mornings, but most of the time I wake up super early in the morning and get my laundry started. The washer usually takes about 40 minutes and the dryer takes about an hour. So um, I can try to get like two or three loads done even before we get to church. But I like to do them bam, bam, bam. I don't let any time go. As soon as I hear that dryer ding and it tells me it's done, I hurry up and get all that stuff out of the dryer. I fold it right away if it needs to be folded. And if it needs to be hung, I shake it out, make sure that it's not gonna be wrinkly, and I lay it over my basket. And then as soon as I'm done with that, I take my basket into my room, and I hang up those items, and I put away the stuff. That way, nothing is sitting in baskets all the time. Do I like doing laundry? No, but if I can know that I'm just getting it done on that one day, then it gets done. This is kind of off the subject. Another way of keeping motivated is when I'm folding, if I already fold it in piles of where things go. So like all of my shorts in one pile, all of my t-shirts in one pile, all of my underwear over here in this pile, things that need to be hung up here. That way when I take it to my room, I don't have to sort again. I can just put things where they go and it makes it a lot easier. No, I do not iron on the days that I'm doing laundry. I may have to iron here and there when we get ready to put the outfit on. So let's just use Chris's shirts again for an example. I don't iron them. I hang them up right away. They don't look wrinkly. But if it's like two months later that he's putting the shirt on, it may be a little bit wrinkly. And we do either one of two things. One is actually iron the shirt. Or two, we spray it down with a little bit of water and throw it into the dryer, crank it on really, really hot and let it go for a few minutes. Take it out right away, put it on right away or hang it right back up. Also, we do have a steamer so we can do that as well. So another question is, do you not do like delicates and jeans separate? Do you not separate your kids clothes light and dark and the answer to that is no as well I usually do a whites and colors um, people always ask do you separate your whites too no I don't if I separated my whites I'd have like two things that were white to go in the washer 
So um, I do whites and colors together and then I do darker colors together, whether that's jeans, delicates, anything. Um, if something is super delicate and can't go in the dryer, I do have a place to hang that in my laundry room. I hang up bras, I hang up certain materials that I'm afraid will shrink in the dryer, but otherwise everything gets washed together. And then as far as the kids' clothes, I've always just put all of the kids' clothes together. Now as they're getting a little bit older, I'm gonna have to probably separate their clothes just because it's not all gonna fit into one load. But right now, all of their clothes for the entire week that got dirty fits into one load and so that just works for me. So right now I do about five loads of laundry. On Sunday I do Chris and I's colors and whites, Chris and I's darks, one load for the kids, and usually one or two loads for towels. Right now it's starting to be summertime, so we're going to the beach and the pool and we have a lot more towels. So that's it. We just usually have like four or five loads of laundry. Now those laundry loads are pretty full, but that brings me to my next point of my favorite laundry products. So my first favorite laundry product is this Method laundry detergent. It is amazing, it's four times concentrated, so this will go a very long way. You can see it says 66 loads. This is my second bottle, and this is my first time using this Beach Sage smell, and it smells so good. It's like super, super fresh and light and I love it. But really, I don't know if you can see the lines on that, but you really only have to use a tiny bit of laundry detergent for each load. And I feel like the clothes come out smelling really, really good and they come out really, really clean and crisp. I'm sorry, it's just started raining really hard and you guys are sitting like right on my windowsill. So I hope you can probably hear that rain in the background, but we're just gonna keep going. So anyways, love this. My second favorite laundry product is this stain remover. I have used so many types of stain removers. The one big difference from the last laundry video that I did and this laundry video and this laundry routine that I have is stain remover. So quick little background. Jane, my first child, wore a bib when she ate until she was probably two and a half years old. She was really good about keeping it on. She was never messy. She was my first child. I was like, you know, anytime she gets messy, I would wipe it up. Jackson, my second child, wore a bib probably till he was two. He was really good at that as well. Piper, my third child, stopped wearing a bib probably before she even turned one, and that was not my choice. Anytime we put a bib on her, she would just yank it right off. There was really no way to keep it on her. She hated the bib, and she is super messy still. She's a really messy eater. Um, she likes to hold things in her hand, let them melt. She likes to rub stuff on her face. She's just a messy child in general. So her clothes get dirty. And then also with my kids just getting older, they play outside in the dirt and they're just getting messier and dirtier and their clothes are getting messier and dirtier. And with potty training and all that, you know what I mean? So I have to have a good stain remover and some of the stain removers I found do not work very good at all or they're way too much work. But this one I love, it is also Method and it is the Method Stain Remover. I don't know if you can really see, but the thing that I love it most is this scrubber here on the top. So basically what you do is you just turn it upside down, you squeeze, Maybe you don't have to squeeze it, but you squeeze it until the stuff comes out and then you just scrub on there. So you can see the stain go away. A lot of times stain removers are just like sprays and you spray it and then you throw it in the washer and you hope that it comes out. This you can scrub until you see the stain come out. So that's why I love this. The last laundry product that I have been loving is the Molly Suds Wool Dryer Balls. Any dryer ball really, but these are the ones that I like using. Let me get this one out. I have two left in here. I have one in my dryer right now, and then they're just these little balls. River thinks these are toys, my dog, so we have to make sure he doesn't get into them. But the reason I like these, I use these for pretty much every laundry load, sometimes just my towels. It just depends. Um, if I have a huge towel load, I will put this in there for sure. Um, and it's better than a dryer sheet, and what this does is it helps, number one, it helps fluff your clothes, and also it helps to dry it faster. I don't know how it works, but Supposedly this helps your clothes and your towels dry quicker. So less electricity, less time, you get my point. The other fun thing about this is that you can put 
any sort of smell on here, but essential oils is a good idea. And then you can stick it in there and it really will be kind of like a dryer sheet because then your clothes will smell like whatever essential oil that you put in there. So I like that as well. Um, you guys know that I've been using my essential oils and stuff. But yeah, I think that's it. I honestly love my laundry routine. It's amazing. I always see moms complaining, oh, I have so much laundry. I can't get, I can't keep up with the laundry. This is crazy. We have five people in our family and our kids go through so many clothes, you guys. And so do Chris and I, to be honest. Probably more clothes than we should in a week. And I just don't even think about it until Sunday. I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. If Hopefully we have enough to wear for the week and that's it. The only thing I do have to think about is when I'm doing my laundry on Sunday, I have to kind of think about the whole week like, Let's not wear something on Monday that I might need to wear on Saturday kind of thing because I'm not doing laundry again. It's just not happening. So like if we're ever going on a trip or something, as soon as I'm like putting clothes away, I kind of put those clothes to the side because I don't want to wash them again and I don't want them to get dirty before I have to pack them. So you, could, you do kind of have to plan ahead, but it is so much better than doing like one load a day or something like that. So I urge you guys to give it a try. I promise you can get five loads of laundry done in one day. It can happen. Yes, you're doing laundry pretty much all day long, but then you're not doing it for the rest of the week and it is absolutely amazing. Um, about these products, guys, you can find these products at grove.co. Um, you guys know that I love Grove Collaborative. I work with them, they are amazing. All these things are super cheap on their website. And then I think if you order for the first time anything, you get a free Mrs. Meyers hand soap, lotion, dish soap, and I believe a dish towel. I'll have to leave that down in the description below because I'll have to double check. But I'll leave the link down below. You can sign up, you can get some free product. Definitely try these products out. I promise it'll help your laundry routine go by so quick. Look, this is all you need to do your laundry. Get your laundry done in one day. I promise you will be happy with these products. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any more questions about my laundry routine, leave it down in the comments and I will answer them. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.